It's good. And the encore is the only one that has a real name. All the other ones are you know, breakaway, getaway, escape. <laughs> Who's naming these things? A prisoner? <laughs> Next week I'm on the NCL parole. <laughs> That's good. So you guys are on the, the right one, because we had a test cruise, which was kind of, I, I agreed to do a test cruise. I don't know what to think of that. Like the captain gets up there like, man, all these buttons, were these all here before? <laughs> Been watching Tiger King in my underwear for 14 months. <laughs> so there were like a limited number on there, and then we did like the, the first debut. You guys are just, you know, this is the time to be here. I, I found out too that first week, my room right by the anchor. Anyone get the anchor room? Uh, yeah, I'm from California. You, you don't put the guy, the California guy next to the anchor six in the morning. It's like, <laughs> go, 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 get the water, get the water. Or baby powder, whatever the hell that is. They call it uh, just water. <laughs> they should call it not milk. Two <laughs> percent. We had a, a thing last week. I don't know if you guys heard. Everybody was everybody turned out fine, happy ending. But there was a medical a medevac on the top of the helicopter, very dramatic, and circles, and the ladder comes down. And half the people they were just walking up. Going, they had no idea. They're like, "Oh wow, how much is that excursion?" <laughs> I've already water skied off the back. This looks interesting. <laughs> Callback didn't really work there. Yeah, that's okay. I, uh, I live in California. Any other California people? Yeah. All right, we got some. Yeah, we have like one, we have two, this is like Noah's Ark. There are two people from every state. We got the two Colorado, random survey. Minnesota. Minnesota, we have other Minnesota? Two in Minnesota. <laughs> I'm telling you, the, the marketing is remarkable. Yeah, I like this ship. Uh, we're going to be two hours late, says the captain. I think that's what he said. I can't understand a damn word he said. <laughs> Eagle be so gulling on the two hours late. 92 nautical miles. It, it's so bad that the cruise director has to get on afterwards and translate <laughs> what he was trying to say, folks, is that tomorrow we're going to be at the ice. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It's, it's, it's probably going to be rainy, but in fairness, it's rainy every day. <laughs> it's nice and straightforward. More bears than there are people, by the way. So, you know, that's what I look forward to. Stay on the path, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> we, uh, I did, I remember doing a ship for, um, it was a carnival, and we were out in the, the, I don't know, it was Hurricane Dorian, and we couldn't go to any of the places that we had planned, and they wouldn't let us go back to Florida. So they just dropped us off at these islands that had no names or <laughs> that roads. <laughs> Tom Hanks comes out, Wilson! <laughs> Wilson! Uh, I, we, they stopped, we went to the one, there was one cafe on the whole island and it just, it was a sight of someone's house, let's be real. It wasn't, it, 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 I'm sitting there with a menu and there's like a chicken on my shoulder. And, like, eat the burger. <laughs> They wanted us to go zip lining. I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds perfectly reasonable. <laughs> and it's like, that's a telephone wire, dude. That's not even a. <laughs> yeah. They had the, the, these guys were these drunk guys had like the unlimited zip line pack, so they would they would swoop down and then give us the bird. That was their big move. Like, oh, burn, burn. What I want to do is here's my idea, sharks. I want to open up a little booth right next to the zip line and rent out paintball guns. <laughs> oh, oh. Who's in? Yeah, Ron's in, all right. It'll be sponsored by Ron and Target. <laughs> and for the rest of you, when you drive from California to Arizona, it's all you've got is your radio. And you start losing the stations one by one. It's an all desert. And then finally, you just hit the seek button. You're like, come on, English. <laughs> Never English. Never English. Yeah, California, I'm, I was checking my emails back there. I uh, paid, I got a $40 a day internet habit, it turns out. 
<laughs> I'm mainlining it at this point. But uh, I, some of the shows are like starting to cancel again. I'm like, I cannot do this again. I cannot go back through this thing again, man. And they're already at a half audiences only, 50% capacity, which is perfect, exactly what I'm used to. <laughs> I've trained for this day, folks. I did a drive-in show where people pull up in the car and you, you can't see them and you can't hear them. So when they like a joke, they just honk. <laughs> Eh. Getting heckled by a Ford Escort. Like, <laughs> what do you do? There's no bouncer. Triple A, get this guy out of here. <laughs> Doing a comedy show. The new normal. Oh, it's good. It did get weird for a while. It's, it, I don't think we'll go back. To, I hope we don't go back to that. I hope that at some point we could just you know, tell our kids, uh, I remember when we had to pay for Purell. <laughs> I don't know. I got weird for me though. I, I found myself at one point wearing a robe at noon on a Tuesday. <laughs> you can't live like that, bro. You can't. Uh, they say to dress for the job you want. <laughs> I guess I want to be a pimp, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Yeah, that that job's taken by Hugh Hefner. <laughs> Is Hugh still around? Is Hugh still? He's not with us. Oh, opening, opening. <laughs> My wife would love that. <laughs> and yeah, I'm married to a woman, Ron. Surprise! <laughs> I went to get my teeth cleaned, and I had my first panic attack. And what I was trying to do was do the deep cleaning in all four quadrants on the same thing, so I didn't have to go back. And the needle entered the room before he did. <laughs> oh. They, they want to put you out. They don't want you coming back around and getting sensitive. And he goes, oh, you're just going to feel a pinch. A little pinch. Oh, kind of cute. Like St. Patty's Day kind of pinch. Oh, my face was melting off of my... Like the, that clocks by Salvador Dali, the painting. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. And the whole time, the assistant is waterboarding me. Like, Tell me your secrets. I haven't flossed since the last time you did it. <laughs> and I went to swallow, and yeah, and the Novocaine closed up my throat. And the epinephrine, which he also didn't have to do, started jacking my heart. And the last thing I remember was grabbing chest hair. <laughs> the first time you heard the dentist scream. <laughs> So I go outside, I tell them I'm going to the bathroom, I walk downstairs, and I call my wife, and she can't understand me because my lips won't move. I'm like, honey, I can't breathe. She's like, you can't leave where? And she goes, who is this? Like, and then she tells me to use my essential oils, which I do carry, not the point. If you, if you ever had a panic attack, it's way beyond the reach of lemongrass and Oh yeah, honey, I'm just gonna feel the earth and I'm gonna align my chakra. The whole time I'm like, I should have called my mom more. <laughs> they did the thing too where they, they measure your gums. You have oh I, you feel like you're yeah, you feel like you're failing some test that you didn't study for. She's like, three? Three, five. You have any money in savings? And all the only thing they had on the wall, the only picture is like, I, I don't know what I'm looking at. Is that meth mouth? Like, is that a badger? That's you in five years if you don't shape up. Yeah, that was a, and that was a little expensive too. It cost me 150 bucks. That was my part. That was my copay. I'm like, copay means both of us, right? Because that feels a lot like me pay. <laughs> Comedians aren't known for their health care. <laughs> at this point, I'm getting my eye exams at the DMV. <laughs> they prescribed Uber. It's good. You guys are a smart kid down here, by the way. Where are you guys from? Uh, we have 
Seattle. From Seattle. You made the big commute in from the <laughs> other side of Pier 66. <laughs> You're never going to be able to drive by that Marriott again, man. You're going. <laughs> <laughs> Seattle's a cool place to live. And how old? Uh, how old are you, man? Uh, almost sixteen. Almost sixteen? All right, look at you. On your first cruise? Yeah. All right. I've been watching the ships go out. Now you know what it's all about. <laughs> That's cool. And uh, so what do you do for a living, 16? <laughs> smart kid, though. I can tell he's smart. He's, he's like up on everything. You're like the only kid here. Did you go up on the uh, above ground sewage system? <laughs> no? You gotta try it, man. I can't do it because it would just be creepy. I don't think I can't. <laughs> I would though. I am having trouble growing up, I'll tell you that. We, were, we went to Canada, I was doing the comic strip in Edmonton, and they've got the longest mall, it's got three McDonald's, and in that mall is a water park with the steepest water slide in North America, mm -hmm. big banner, and it goes straight down like a ski jump. <laughs> and yeah, the other comic dared me to do it, and then I had to do it to fill the void where my self-esteem should be. <laughs> All six stories up, man. It, like the temperature starts to change. Like, ah, ah. And I get in the little hamster tube thing, and much like your showers here on, on your cabin. And the guy goes, Cross your legs, eh? I thought he was being Canadian. I'm like, dude, I'm from California. We invented this. And then he opens up the trap door, and water starts violating me. <laughs> oh, it's coming out of my ears like a sprinkler. Yeah, it filled my void. <laughs> oh, I hit the bottom, it was like a car accident. I mean, my hands up upside down, and wearing someone else's bathing suit. And, and I still, I swear, I still cannot get comfortable when I lay down on my bed. I've been to the chiropractor. <laughs> it's a real story. My first clue should have been that everyone else in line was 14 years old. <laughs> They're like, dude, I, I think that's our English teacher. <laughs> the other guy's like, no, man, that's Ellen. Let's <laughs> get an autograph. But my favorite Canadian band is the Bare Naked Ladies. You all know? Yeah, Bare Naked Ladies. I mean, they wrote a song for the rest of you, uh, Anushka. They wrote a song about all the things they do if they had a million dollars. A little ambitious by today's standards. Yeah. Uh, here's what that song would sound like uh, 15 years later. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a house, a two-bedroom picture of a... If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you furniture for your house, we could assemble it together. If I had a million dollars, I'd buy hybrid car. If I had a million, we could take a trip maybe to Jersey. If I had a million, Jersey Mike's, come on, let's take it easy. If I had a million dollars, I'd be at work. So, uh, Anushka, did you know that song? 16, you were probably being born. You were probably developing a spine when that came out. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah, I have uh, dyslexia. Anybody else have? Oh, just me, really? It's one in 10, so some of you are lying. I know it's one in 10, because uh, you go online and they, they, you take the test, and then they, then they tell you all the famous people who also have it, so you don't feel so bad. It was John Mayer, uh, Jay Leno. Uh, one of them was James Madison. Yeah, we almost had the right to arm bears. <laughs> Make a trip to Icy Straits Point would be really scary. My favorite person on that list, John Lennon. One really, John Lennon. Imagine all the people screwing up the world. You, you may dream I'm a sailor, but I'm not the only one. There's Madison Leno and John Mayer, and Tom 
Thomas Edison, George Patton, the Fonz, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Steve Jobs, uh, Bruce Jenner, now Caitlin. And serious dyslexia there. <laughs> and Hans Anderson Christian. <laughs> oh, Adam Levine. Yeah, what I like about Maroon 5 is that uh, he's got all these dark ideas, but he puts them to happy music. I am in misery, and yet I sing so happily. Oh, oh, oh. oh whatever that you say. <laughs> Ask your doctor about screw it all. <laughs> Here's a love song from Adam Levine. So I cross my heart and I hope to die. And I always stay with you one more night. How romantic. <laughs> He's got some other songs, but you have to be a dog to hear them. You should all die. Yes, please. You Payphone Anushka was a thing that we used to have. <laughs> and you'd dial it and go put a dime in. A dime is a coin. We <laughs> used to have. Um, I feel like women are better at breakup songs than men are. Like if you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you do wrong by a woman, she'll she'll turn it into art. I want you to know that I'm happy for you. I don't think she means it. <laughs> it was a slap in the face, how quickly I was replaced. And are you thinking of me when you forgot that it's your early show, didn't you? <laughs> so don't turn it into art. You're so vain. You probably think this song is about you. You're so vain. I'll bet you think this song is about you. Don't you? Don't you? And yeah, every guy kind of did. <laughs> we were hoping. And then, of course, the ultimate. Right now, he's probably up behind me with a pool stick showing how to shoot a combo. But what he don't know. I dug my keys into the side of this pretty little suit that four-wheel drive. Maybe he'll think again before he cheats. Wow, that is specific. You <laughs> put some thought into that. Dudes, on the other hand, <laughs> not so poetic. I've been through the diamonds, I've been through the things. One thing I know, love stinks, love stinks. Yeah, yeah. All right, why don't I leave you with this? Um, I was, speaking of the Beatles, man, I'm a big fan. That's actually why I started playing guitar. And uh, I was in my room one day uh, after eating for the 12th time. I don't know what it is. I think because there's no money, I feel like I'm just, like, the more I eat, the cheaper it is. I don't know. But I can't stop eating. And uh, so I was in my room hurting, and I came up with this. I once had a dream of all you can eat one week at sea. <laughs> oh, but I could not handle my food, Norwegian food. <laughs> she asked me to stay and she told me to dine anywhere. Except the steakhouse, I got my So I gorged myself till I couldn't get out of the chair. Chase lounge, whatever. And when I awoke, I was alone with ice cream cone. <laughs> so I lit a fire with five kinds of booze, Norwegian crew. Hey, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. See us at the theater show. See you guys next year. <laughs>